and Dubé in this moto. Great pass by Fasciati on the inside of Jeff Gibson. That is Carpenter's teammate on the Monster Energy Cowie team. Look at, look at the riding aggression here that we're seeing from number 10, Cole Fasciati. Oh, nice Takes line. the inside move on number 30, Kyle Keyes, Chaz, and that is for... Outside the top 10, neither of those three riders got a good start as we get back to our leader, number 101, Paul Carpenter. Again, Brian, using that outside part of the track. We talked about it, line choice, a very wide track. Back to second, Nathan Phillips also going outside. Let's watch the champ. Where is he? Third place, checking back. Oh, about four or five seconds, Brian. He is falling back, but he goes inside. The champ's going to have to find some of those smoother inside-outside oh. lines. <laughs> Great aggressive riding by Fasciati. He's started dead last. He is the fastest man on the racetrack right now. He is taking care of business, slicing and dicing to the front. Now, in these slick conditions, you have to lug the motorcycle a little more. You don't want it to rev out. That's when you're going to get the big wheel spin. So you got to short shift and be real ginger and precise on the bike. The champ starting to figure things out, mounting that challenge on Phillips. This has been long overdue. Finally, the champ, oh, yanks a tear off. He gets close, and then he falls back a bit. Gets close, falls back. Here he goes. The champ cuts in. A beautiful move by John Sebastian. Hits a huge hole right there. Takes supreme punishment. He earned that pass huge. Bit of a clat inside-out maneuver, and you're right. He took a huge piece of punishment getting into that bomb hole to make that pass happen. But you know what, Brian? I love the way he set Phillips up for it. Here it is. Phillips oh, on the high line, oh. and the champ goes inside. The wah, wah hits that hay bale with his foot there coming in. He's pumped and aggressive. Right there, Phillips in the smoother outside there, taking seemingly the better line, but that's where Watt cuts in, and there's a huge bomb hole. Watch Watt. Oh, right there, you're Just right. takes that huge oh. punishment to make the pass. So it's all a bit of sacrifice. Now he's in front of Phillips. I don't think he's got to worry, worry much about it. I think he's going to pull away a bit. Number 38, Mitch Cook in fourth place, coming up from the valley to get his last lap flag. Oh my goodness, look <laughs> at the gap that John Sebastian Watt has closed up on our leader through that section where he made the pass on Phil Bryant. It's sick down there. Those ruts are super deep. This is the John Sebastian Wall of old. Struggled a bit off the start here. Oh, These yeah. conditions have to play a lot on your mind. You don't want to throw away precious points here. Right now, he wants Carpenter bad, but on the last half, and the legwork of the champ. Yes, it's out there. Fantastic. He has really pulled a lot of that gap down to yes. only a scant one second, but there's only one turn left. It looks like Carpenter's going to have it. Carpenter was seemingly in control of this oh, motor. Walk oh, came out man. of nowhere and closed the gap. Carpenter takes the win, but kudos to John Sebastian Watt. You're right, he found his mojo late in the moto. Too little, too late for the champ. Great camaraderie here between these two warriors, Travers. This is the shape of things to come.